Uh, well, an unprecedented call for help from the Forbidden Isle. The Ni'ihau people have asked the state to save their fisheries and their culture. And it's all new tonight. It has to stop. Like you said, if, you don't, if we don't do something about it, then we, we won't exist. You're witnessing a first, a plea from a group who has never come to state lawmakers for help, who hail from a place few of us will ever see, Ni'ihau. Several dozen travel to the state capitol with a mission to stop the fishermen, opihi pickers, and even the tours. They say are threatening not only their well-being, but their culture. Privately owned by the Robinson family since the 1860s, the Forbidden Island is not as isolated as it once was. Fishermen can go as far as the high water mark, and apparently they do so in larger numbers than ever before. The Ni'ihau people depend on the ocean for food, and today the Robinsons say the nearshore fisheries are depleted and their catch is down seriously. What makes you think you can have the right to come and take our food? We are not here to say what they're doing is illegal. But I am here unequivocally to say what they're doing is wrong. Senator Clayton Heath says they'll introduce legislation this session to create a no-take zone that circles Ni'ihau, the exception, the Ni'ihau people, who not only turn to the sea for food. It is a place where the people go for healing, for fulfillment, for spiritual well-being. It's a place where they recharge. It's a place critical to their well-being. Excuse me. And the pressure that is being put on them from the outside world is a destructive pressure. And it cannot continue to survive. We don't come out um, like this, and we're here for a reason. We're here to ask for help uh, in protecting our people and our resources, and that's why we're here to ask for all the help we can get. Now, one resident said that a group of fishermen took 75 gallon Ziploc bags of opihi just on one visit. DLNR Chair William Ayla says they are drafting administrative rules on their side that will include area and equipment closures and bag limits. All welcome news for the 130 or so residents that call Ni'ihau home.